Hello, 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 it's Wogawell, and here is the 100 Vaults of Atstari wrap up. This is basically everything we've gotten from those 100 maps, and uh, we're going to go through and see what kind of value we got out of doing it because I certainly didn't get any physical value. Um, <laughs> so these jeweler orbs, I'm going to take them all out and uh, convert them into orbs of fusing so we can get a better idea of where we're at in terms of uh, these at least. Not sure how much they're going to be valued at, but if we go and purchase with laggy, interesting. Not letting me buy them. Interesting. Okay, it's not letting me buy them. It's not letting me buy them. Right, so put that there. Yes. And uh, it's very laggy. Wow, it does this in certain shops with this character for some reason. I'm not sure why. Nice, nice, nice. They're all 10 chaos each. Cool. I don't want to spend any of my own ones to try and... I don't want to skew the um the results here. So I'm going to buy these two. I'm going to buy probably one more stack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And then one, two, one, two, three, four. Cool. So that's quite a few, actually. Um, looking at it this way, so each of those is ten chaos, and we've got how many stacks is that? Twelve, fourteen, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen. So that's one hundred and eighty chaos orbs worth. Eh, not too bad at all. Now next, I'm gonna go back to my hideout. Um, it's very laggy. Weird. Good timing. Thanks. GGG. Back in the hideout, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab all these Val base ones because I've, I've reorganized and put all the Val ones at the top and got rid of all the the non full stacks um, because we can't trade those in yet. So, Val orbs, Val orbs. That's going to be a lot of Val orbs. Okay, so. Trade divinations cards, 10. And that is that. That took quite a, lot, a long time. With PlayStation, you got to flick around quite a bit. So each of these will be worth, each stack is worth five. So that's another just under 100 chaos. It's, it's not looking good overall. Um, I'm just going to add these in here. For later that's annoying me that one and that one's too close to the card so the next one we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the crappy cards like divination card divination card ring sexton sextons leave that divination card ring weapon corrupt that could be interesting that could be interesting map corrupt it could be interesting and that's pretty much it. So we got four stacks of divination cards. I know I had eight of these, so I might just go and buy another one. Um, let's see. The Admirer. Let's go and check out prices. Uh, for those of you on the PC that are now looking at the PlayStation, uh, prepare to be head fucked by the amazing, amazing uh, economy. Okay, so what are we getting on offers here? nothing let's try and push this guy with i don't know 10 chaos out of our funds i don't know let's see if we can do that let's see if we can just offer up for the singulars i don't know what they're worth or what they give out anyway um, but just for the sake of the video we'll just grab a few of these so that's the one we have. These are my ones. Uh, let's chuck that here. And then chuck that here. And then chuck that one here. And see what kind of offers we get. In the meantime, I'm going to go through and do these crappy cards. Um, so this level 100 ring, piece of shit. Jewelry. Fertile mind, not bad. It's not bad at all, actually, but I don't think I have many of those anyway myself. 
Not bad. Ooh, what was that? Ah. Three chaos orbs. Another card, five currency, not good. Eh. Let's do the two rings first. There we go. And then the last divination card, yeah, piece of shit. So that wasn't that good. Um, just sell these rings to this guy because there's not going to be much, much in the way of any of these being any good. Actually, I'll probably just keep these myself and have a look through them in a while. Um, so chuck all these there. See if any of these cards match up with what I've already got in my inventory. Um, let's see. No, nah, just jewelry. Whatever. Um, next, let's see. So we got these four we need to go through. So I think we start with the map, then the weapon, and then the item. And that pretty much covers everything, I think. That's that's the breakdown of what we got. Um, let's see if we got any responses rejected. Let's ask him how much. How long? Ooh. How much? Um, and then... Let me tell your firstly, let's do the map and see what we get. If it's another one of those uh, vaults, then I'm going to be pissed. Ooh, Acton's Nightmare. That's quite a good one. Nice. Cool. Uh, corrupted Weapon. Uh, okay. Corrupted Weapon. Uh, both bad. Now, let's see what this is. I'm interested. Let's see. <laughs> so, it's a drop from the Atstari drop table. I should have known. That's bad. I've got like four of those from all the times I fought Atstari to try and get the free maps. Oh, irritating. Very irritating. Um, I'd like to try again, though. So, if they do get back to me by the end of this video, then I'll... Uh, try again but overall those cards were not as valuable as 10 10 chaos because these sell for like one um maybe not a good investment but we'll have to see we'll have to see so let's chuck these in here i can price those up later um so yeah ultimately a face value uh without taking into consideration these crappy currencies because that could be days before i sell those um some of these valor orbs can go into the other tab here so we have quite a lot of miscellaneous currency here, which is nice. Um, 300 in Divine Orbs, uh, about 80 for that one Exalt that we got. Trying to reinvest our Chaos Orbs. Another 150, 160 worth of Fusings. The Sextants, I don't know if they sell. I've never tried. So um, Valor Orbs, another... I mean, we at least made 600 Chaos out of the potential 1,000 that I spent um which isn't ideal but you know these things happen and in the interest of science it's a uh, well the maps you could consider these some of these are worth a bit of money as well but again it's all more effort of clicking square and x and all this stuff to try and get stuff sold and my fingers need a, a break a hundred percent after all of that um quite surprising that no one's got back to me about these um, usually you get a rejection quite quickly on PS4, but if we have a look for any other ones that are sort of singular stacks and just try and grab them, then we can try again and get another another one of those fucking uh, thingies. Right, already got that one, already got that one, already got that one. I'll put two down, 20 down for that one, just, just because I want to get a sale. I want to get someone giving me some feedback. Um, perfect. All right, so I'm going to get my own stash here if I actually have anything. Oh, I've got 18. Nice. And now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to sacrifice some of these Divine Orbs too. Because ultimately I'm not reinvesting these in anything, so I just want to have some fun. Whoa. One full passive reset. Nice. I didn't know they do that after... You go to standard. That's interesting. So let's see if we can get some of these bought. Just to try it one more time. Let's see. 
Oh, I should have given this guy two. Rejected. Let's ask him how much. Let's ask him how much. No responses on any of the other ones, which is quite frustrating. But I'm going to speed it up here as well till I get one of these. Cool. Just got another one. Um, chuck all this currency back in here. Sorry, you OCD heads. That's probably going to annoy you, but whatever. Um, and then I should have the other eight. I do right here. Let's try again and see if we can make it all worth our while or if we're going to get another flask. Oh, <laughs> oh man. A hundred maps and getting, what was it, 17 of those fucking cards. 17? Yeah, 17 total of those cards and I get two flasks. Man, that's that's harsh. That is harsh. Oh well, you know, these things happen. Um, Long story short, I would not recommend doing this as a en masse sort of uh, method of making money because it doesn't get you what you put in. Um, if you can get them cheap, six chaos, five chaos, depending on what, what platform you're on, if it's reasonable for you, um, these are the kind of results you're going to expect after a hundred. So just basically divide by a hundred, uh, per map. And, uh, it's quite a good sample to go for a hundred as opposed to like 10, because in 10, you could get nothing. And in the first 10 maps, I didn't get an exalted orb, but in the first 20 I did. So that would in theory make it one in 20 maps. Whereas here it's actually one in a hundred, um, so quite a good sample. Um, if you can get a few of these maps together cheap, or if you can find them out in the the wild while you're hunting beasts, then definitely valuable to do in short bursts. Um, quite boring, uh, monotonous, but uh, they'll be definitely build up your unique collection and get you a lot of uh, alchemies for the ones that you already have. Um, got that helmet, which was nice, of course. And then what else was good? The Tabula Rasa, Death's Oath, and the Belly of the Beast, which is worth quite a lot in Legion now as well, and a few other one, one chaos items here. So yeah, like I said, this this whole process took me six, seven hours to record, so it's going to be fun uh, putting this all together. Um, but if you, like I said, if you stuck around in the other video and you moved over to this one, appreciate your your support. Make sure you drop a like and, and subscribe if you haven't already. There'll be plenty more Path of Exile content coming out and content for other games down the line uh nothing set in stone just yet uh nothing interesting coming out but there will be and uh if you like this kind of stuff let me know got any feedback i'll be happy to hear it bring it on <laughs> and now it's time to go back and play some legion where i, I, I belong um I've, I've got a wicked cyclone build uh on the rise level 86 already and uh yeah very happy with it so far so have a good day everyone and I'll see you all in the next video.